Hey guys, Matthew Kirk here, and in about two, two and a half weeks, I'm going to be starting my Appalachian Trail through hike from Springer Mountain going northbound. My start date is March 17th, 2015, and, uh, and I couldn't be happier. It's been a long time coming, and um, it's just kind of surreal that it's almost here. But yeah, I just wanted to go over some of the gear that I'm going to be taking with me. Uh... You can start with a backpack, which is the REI Crest Trail 70 liter. Um, really like this pack. It's got a lot of cool features. It's got a big expansive zipper pocket on the front with a couple of mesh dividers inside. A uh, big stuff pocket for like wet clothing or shoes on the outside. Uh, a couple of big water bottle pockets, sleeping bag divider, a couple of pockets on the top lid, and uh, something I really, really like, uh, very large hip belt pockets. Very nice. Um, I've tried several, several different packs out and nothing seemed quite right until this guy. Uh, either they weren't long enough in the torso or they were too large in the waist. So, and with this one, I was basically able to switch out the hip belt, switch out the harness, and basically get a customized pack. All for a really competitive price from REI, so I, I really couldn't be happier with this. My sleep system is the, uh, the, <clears throat> or sorry, my, my tent system is the Copper Spur UL2 from Big Agnes. I really, really do like this tent. Um, I know a lot of people opt for the one person, which is fine. I tried it out in the store and it just felt like I was in a coffin, so I decided to sacrifice a few extra ounces, which I think it's only like six or seven ounces heavier for the two person. Decided to sacrifice that uh, for a little extra room and a place to put my pack when it's really storming outside. And that's with the uh, the poles, stakes, and the footprint. Um, oh, and uh, the pack cover for my uh, pack is the um, REI Ducks Back 80, just because I got this at an REI garage sale for like two bucks, so happy about that. Uh, sleep system is... Uh, Thermarest Pro Light sleeping pad. It's somewhat self-inflating, but you really do want to blow some extra air into it just to get a, a firm pad. And uh, my sleeping bag is the Eddie Bauer Caracorum 20, which uh, I really do like it. It's a down bag. It's only about two pounds, which I, I guess that's kind of on the heavy side, but it's really, really warm. And um, like I said, 20 degrees, and I've definitely taken it lower than that, and it's been comfortable. I figure if I um, add it with this uh, silk Sea to Summit liner, that's going to drop it down a few more degrees. So I'm I'm happy about that. <clears throat> uh, cook system. I've got the GSI Pinnacle Soloist. Very very nice cook set. I really recommend this. Um, everything. Let's see. Right, everything right there I can fit in this cook set. So, very, very handy. Um, and the cook set alone only weighs 9, 10 ounces, so, and everything in here is like <clears throat> pound, pound, two, and two ounces, something like that. Uh, the stove I'm using is the Optimus Crux stove. It's really nice. These, uh, these fold out, and, um, and this pops up like that, but I really do like how you can uh, basically fold this down into nothing. Um, I might just go with the uh, uh, two small lighters instead of the one big lighter. I've heard that they, the two small ones weigh the same as one big one. Little pack towel, microfiber pack towel. I might just clip this on the outside of my pack for use during the day. Fuel canister. I found this this guy on another YouTube video basically cut a hole in it, put your finger in it, and you can use it to scrub out your pack. Thought it was kind of fun and pretty handy. Works great. Uh, Tox titanium spork, very nice. Uh, good grip on the handle and um, and very smooth on the um, on the spoon and fork part, so you don't scratch yourself up when you're using it. Uh, Discovery Trekking, or Discover Trekking, one of those, uh, Pactel, very, very nice. It, um, 
it dries out super fast and it doesn't give you that that moldy stale lingering um, smell so very very nice and it's super ultra light very very lightweight uh, headlamp I've got the black diamond storm headlamp I'm very happy with this several different settings it's got a red light setting for around camp at night a uh, big bright light and then there's a dimmer light on here as well um, oh and I'm I'm gonna be taking this guy with me uh, cut a little hole in the top of this bag and um, and hang him from my backpack it'll be kinda fun see if you can make it all the way to Maine with me <clears throat> and that was a uh, that was a Christmas present for my mom so thanks mom you've been really supportive Uh, toiletries. I found this on Amazon. I thought it was really cool. Um, Architect toothpaste tablets. It it weighs a lot less than your conventional toothpaste tube, even the small ones. Uh, 60 tablets in here, so that's good for about 30 days. And um, <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with it. Dr. Bronner's Camp Soap. Very, very happy with this. There are a million uses for it. Uh, wash your clothes, wash your hair, brush your teeth, wash your body, wash your, wash your, um, your cook set out. Anything and everything you can use this stuff for. So, very awesome. Uh, Gold Bond powder for chafing, hopefully no chafing, but um, around the hip belt area and to dry off your feet. Um, toothbrush, pretty self-explanatory there. Um, earplugs, because people in shelters are loud. And bug spray with DEET. Um, oh, and toilet paper, along with my toiletries. Self-explanatory also, for when nature calls. Knife. Mora knife. Very, very nice. I found a great deal on this on Sierra Trading Post. It might still be going on. Got it for like seven or eight bucks, which is just amazing. Very, very great knife. Um, really durable. It comes sharp right out of the box. The handle's great. This thing is not going anywhere when you're holding it. It's rubberized, grippy handle. And the whole thing weighs like three or four ounces. So, very, very nice. It's probably one of my favorite pieces of kit. Is just a little flip blade I've had for years. Works great. That's all there is to say about that. Uh, 50 foot of bear bag rope. <clears throat> Water storage and filtration. Got the Platypus 2 liter bottle. Um, I really like it. I might just use it for hauling water around camp. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to go with a bladder. If I do, it's going to be this one. The Camelback Unbottle uh, 3 liter, 100 ounce. Um, and I have, I have got two different filters here. I've got one to hook up, hook up to my water bladder. Basically pop it into the base and then pop the top into the, uh, the hose part. And you can basically filter water while you're drinking from your Camelback. That, that's pretty handy. Um, but the, the filter I'm going to be using primarily is going to be the Sawyer uh, Mini water filter, which is really, really nice. I know a lot of people use it on the trail. Um, it did come with this little bottle. Oh, and the plunger, you can, this is just to clean it out. Uh, it did come with this little bottle. I don't know if I'm going to take this or not. A lot of people say that it leaks over time. So, I haven't decided yet. I might maybe just use it as, uh, as a water bottle to keep in my, um, my hip belt pocket. Who knows? Or my uh, my water bottle pocket on the side of my pack. Um, little Z Packs wallet weighs like 0.1 of an ounce. Fire kit, just for emergencies. I've got Espit fuel cubes in here, um, waterproof matches, and a flint and steel striker. Med kit. Uh, I've got the seven ounce one here. I debated whether or not to get a, um, a pre-packaged med kit. I wound up doing it just because I found a really great deal on Amazon. 
Um, I know they're normally like 25 or 30 bucks for this this specific size. I found one. I found this a whole lot cheaper on Amazon, so I got it because I know it has some stuff in there that I'm going to be taking. Um, and I've I have kind of customized it. I've taken a few things out, put a few things in, so it's a customized med kit now, which still only weighs about seven ounces. Um, I guess electronics now. And I got, I don't know, I don't think I have an excessive amount of electronics. If I do, oh well. Power kit. Royal Power Burst. Got this from Costco. Uh, very, very nice. Um, it's, uh, I think, 10,000 amps. So I can get three to five charges for my iPod, my cell phone, my camera, anything like that. Three to five charges. And it doesn't really weigh that much either iPod Touch, a uh, cheap pair of um, Skull Candy headphones, USB, micro USB cords, um, little USB wall charger. Um, this is a charger for my camera. And I'm going to do a little bit of video journaling while I'm out there. So I got the Sony HDR action cam. I think it's the AS30V. Uh, very happy with this. I've used it a little bit. And um, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, I do also recommend this if you're going to be taking trekking poles with you. The stick pick. It's just made by a little cottage company. Um, very very nice. Uh, it basically just attaches to the base of your trekking pole. And um, and yeah, I I really like it. It's very handy. Um, it's good for getting those shots with you in the frame and the uh, scenery behind you. Uh, one more electronic item. I've got my Pentax camera here, just point and shoot. Uh, I'm taking this because the Sony Action Cam, uh, the Sony Action Cam doesn't really take very good still photos, so I'm going to be taking this guy. And if I don't use it, I'll just send it home. But the only downside to it is that you've got this kind of bulky charger. There's no way to charge the camera up with just a cord. You've got to actually take the battery pack out and put it in this in this pack and there's not even a smaller cord it's um it's just this big long thick wall charger cord it's not really that heavy but um it's just kind of bulky but i've got the camera at a pretty reasonable price so i'm not too worried about it uh, let's see memory cards and extra batteries for the um for the headlamp Let's see, just a cheap little $10 pair of Walmart sunglasses. I personally don't see the need in buying $100, $150 pair of sunglasses when you're basically going on an expedition. Um, I don't know, I've had these for years and they still work just great. Uh, they're polarized, they're really lightweight, they're durable, so I'm happy with them. And I'm not going to cry if I sit on them or break them or if they get lost or they fall down a cliff or anything. I'm just going to go buy another pair. Uh, let's see. I found this on the ATC website. It's the Appalachian Trail Passport. I think it's kind of a cool idea. It was started on the uh, Camino de Santiago Trail in Spain. Going from hostel to hostel and you get um, you get stamps along the way. And that's basically what this is. Uh, hostels, towns, markets or whatever. Uh, can stamp this, and you can put the date where you got it stamped at. I think it's, I think it's kind of fun. Uh, <clears throat> AT Guide AWOL. AWOL is AT Guide. 2015 Northbound. A must-have, in my opinion. And a lot of other ones' opinions. Um, this book is amazing. I really do recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Uh, it just gives great detailed elevation, gain and loss maps, uh, gives mile markers, uh, water resupply points, campsites, shelters, the capacity of the shelter, um, elevation marks, it gives info on towns, what services and amenities there are in the towns, uh, maps of the towns. Uh, let's see, so this is, for example, Waynesboro, Virginia. Uh, 
yeah, it just gives you a map of the town and all the um, all the different stores and places. Um, AWOL does a great job of letting you know how much uh, it is to stay at specific inns and hostels and what amenities they have. They have laundry, if there's campsites nearby, if it's just a hostel or if it's just a bunk or, um, or an actual motel. If there's Wi-Fi, um, showers, everything like that. Um, just an amazing, um, amazing service. And it's really, really cheap, too, for the amount of information you're getting. <clears throat> I guess you can say this is a luxury item. I've had this for a while, and um, I'm just, just going to start using it now. Uh, it's got some sentimental value. And um, it's, it's about 10, 12 pounds. And I... I sorry, 10, 12 ounces. And I am going to be keeping a journal on trailjournals.com, but I do also want to have a written one, so... I'm taking that. Shoes. I tried out a ton of different hiking boots. Uh, these were the only ones that worked out, the, and I've and I've had the uh, the ventilator versions for a while. So I'm gonna go with these. The Merrill Moab um, waterproof. I basically just want waterproof um, until I get out of the the colder weather. So probably around middle of April, beginning of May, something like that. I'm going to send these home and send out a, um, a pair of Cascade or Brooks Cascadia 9s, basically just trail runners, uh, but they're like tennis shoes, no break-in period at all. They're really, really comfortable. And for around camp, I know a lot of people go with the, um, the uh, Crocs. I just don't find them comfortable, so I found these on GearTrade.com for like 20 bucks. They're really, really lightweight. Seven ounces, I think, a piece. So they're under a pound total. Uh, they're dry really, really quickly. And, yeah, like I said, they're super lightweight. And uh, they're really comfortable, actually, for how minimalist they are. Trekking poles. I've got the Lecky Flick Lock or Speed Lock poles with the, um, the integrated um, shock absorption system. Really, really nice. And everyone says that Lecky handles are the most comfortable handles. I do agree with that. They really are the most comfortable trekking pole handles I have ever tried out. Um, stuff sacks and compression sacks. I've got the REI 15 liter for my um, for my food bag, and I'll go over the food I'm taking in a separate video. Uh, I've got two Sea to Summit uh, waterproof compression sacks here. The bigger one is for my sleeping bag. And the smaller one is for my tent. And this stuff, compression sack, waterproof, came with my sleeping bag. It's just a little small for it. So I'm going to use that for my clothing. And I'm also going to go over my clothing in a separate video as well. Um, oh, if I, haven't, if I haven't gone over this already. If I have, sorry. Um, I'm just going to be taking this guy with me. Uh, it was a Christmas gift from my mother. She's just been so supportive. Um, so I'm going to put a little hole in the top of the bag, attach it to my pack, and hopefully he can make it to Maine. But I think that's everything. Um, I, do, well, I do have a couple of other items that are in transit right now. Um, just just a couple of odds and ends. But other than that, I think that's about it. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a video on my clothing and a separate video on my food. So you can check that out. And, um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you on the trail two weeks from now.